and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy and today we will be reacting to the final batch of Festival Ikungus songs. Uh, Albania's national final is around the corner and uh, it is time to, to wrap this one up really and to listen to the final six songs, yes, six, um, of this national selection and they will be First, Kelly with Meteor, then Shuli Pietrae with Balade, then Casey Rushja with Valetzoi Metu, uh, then Shega with Nie, then Evi Reci with Meduai, and lastly Alban Ramozai with Te. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's just react to them. That is all what we're here for, right? Right, yes. Let's do that. Uh, like I said, the first one that we will be reacting to is Kelly with his song uh, Meteor. Um, last year there was also a song called Meteor. I wasn't the biggest fan of that one, I believe. Um, but yeah, maybe this one is good. Uh, I don't know. Let's click play. I am really looking forward to having an evening or a few evenings full of Albanian television and this show. Oh. Interesting. It's quite poppy in a way. Like, I didn't expect that. I thought it would be a bit more traditional. Um, it's quite a decent chorus, not gonna lie. Yeah. This will be really nice to have in the show, especially with like the big orchestra playing instrumentals to this song. Because right now this studio version already sounds like it has a massive orchestra behind it. Um, so I can only imagine this is going to be even more epic live. Um, so let's hope his voice is also good live. Because it will be a great show. I don't know, it reminds me of his song, but I can't really pinpoint what song it reminds me of. But like. I don't know, some, some bit older pop song. Oh, it reminds me of, um... The three J's um, that participated for the Netherlands with Never Alone? What was their song? Well, this one ended. Uh, what was their song? Oh, let me real quickly research this. Uh, 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 how can I find this? Ah, uh, uh, um, uh, god damn it. Google it. Never alone, exactly. And then the Dutch version. It, it literally, it literally sounds like that. Um, yeah. That is what it reminded me of. So, there we have it. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, on that note, I guess we should go to the next one. Yeah. Song number two that we will be reacting to today is by the artist with the beautiful name Julie Pietrai. Uh, and her song is Ballad. Um, can it be a ballad? It might be. It probably is. It would be kind of cool that it's like a super up-tempo song and that she wishes it was a ballad and that's what she's singing about. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's just click play. Her voice sounds a bit odd right now, like as if it is a bit echoey. Or like as if it was recorded in her bathroom, maybe. Which it might have been, I don't know. I like the little harp, I guess, like the going on. Okay. Mm. Oh, I really like guitars. Acoustic guitars played interestingly. Yeah, it's it's enjoyable, but it just doesn't jump out immediately at you. Um, which in your version you do need. So cool for Festival of Kungas. Not for your version. I quite like that transition from that uh, verse to the. I guess it was a pre-chorus, moreover, but yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was, um... 
I don't know, another one of those songs that is really cool to have in a competition, but that is not really um, competitive to win and go to Eurovision. And like, if it were to go to Eurovision, I think it would struggle immensely. Uh, that doesn't mean it's a bad song, not at all. It just isn't a song that is catered or suitable for Eurovision. Simple as that. Um, but overall, I thought it was quite enjoyable. It was uh, quite a nice listen. Uh, I don't think they did much wrong. They just didn't make it outstanding enough. Yeah, I think that's very basically where my mind is at with this one. Up next, the third song in the list it is Casey uh, Rustia. Yes, um, and her song is Valenzoi Metu. Um, yeah. <laughs> Since last year, I know that it is two. I mean, not since last year, probably the year before as well. Um, but yeah, two was my favorite song last year. I really loved it. It was so magical. Um, hey, it didn't win. It didn't even go to the final. But hey, I'm fine. I swear I'm fine. Anyways, Casey Rustia with Valzoi Metu. Let's click play. Okay. Starts like that stock travel video. See? The voice is very clear, which I like. It's so loud! The mixing of this song is so puzzling. It's like a wall of sound coming over me. Like they didn't take any care in making sure every instrument shines on its own as well. Yeah, and this like background beat is still kind of stuck to me. The voice is amazing. But that's not something you can um, stand out with in Albania anymore. Because I think literally every single person in their country is blessed with a good singing voice. But if you listen to it right now, it is so uh, troubled and, and so, so cloudy, the, the, the noise, and it's not single instruments that stand out. It's like one wave and one wall of sound. And I don't like that at all. I think her voice has a lot of potential. Like you can really have a good um, pop song with it. This isn't it. I mean, if anything, right? With the live performance, you will have that differentiation between instruments more uh, if there is an orchestra playing. Because they will be playing them solo, <laughs> right? Like individually. Yeah. Um, less impressed with this one, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that really just kind of bothers me a little bit that you, uh, I don't know, it, it was just a wave of noise and she sang to it. It's unfortunate. But I know with the live performance that will not be the case because you have the orchestra. So yeah, in that sense it can fix it and maybe they will see something in it and then maybe they can revamp it together and make sure the sounds are a bit better differentiated and just that it overall sounds a bit more polished, a bit better, a bit cleaner because this was very unclean. Up next, and um, the fourth song on this list is Shiga with their song Nye, 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 yes. Um, let's click play. Oh, very uh, FIFA 2012-2011 with the whistle song. We get a reference. Nice. I'm vibing today so far. Will there be a real chorus? I guess there is a chorus already. No, it didn't explode after that. Unfortunate. Could they have that like that little TV that is on the picture? Could it be because it's their friend, the fourth friend, had like COVID or something? And they did it this way? Kinda cool. Oh, I like this part a lot. I expected them all to sing, but so far... Yeah, I mean, I do hear a few voices, but it's mainly the lead singer. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. I cannot whistle very well. Hmm. That was quite an enjoyable piece, I, uh, I, I would say. Damn. 
My English is not the best today, but it's okay. Um, yeah, it was quite an enjoyable piece. Uh, it was very uplifting, very fun. Um, will it win? I don't think so. Um, but it's very good to have this in a competition. I keep saying that, but yeah, that's just basically what it is. It's a fun song uh, to have in this competition, but it won't win. Up next, it is Evi Reggi with Medway. Um, last year, I think Evi was one of the, I wouldn't say favorites, but more liked or not more, I don't know. You know, a lot of people liked her song last year. That is what I can remember. Um, I don't even really remember if I liked it that much or not. Um, yeah, I guess we can find out with this one whether I like it or not. Um, yeah, let's click play. Okay. Forest. Okay. Oh. Let's get some brass instruments in there. A bit too traditional for your vision, perhaps. But only nice. Ah. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I keep just moving to this. Which is a good thing, right? You can't see this, but like, um, I'm with my legs, I'm just going like this. Um, yeah, a bit like that. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm saying. I have like a higher chair, like a, nearly a bar stool. It's like I'm like dangling with my legs a little bit, so I was going back and forth with them. Anyway, it's very uplifting, like. I'm having a great time. Yeah, I don't know, I quite like that. Um, I thought it was quite well um, written in a way, but yeah, it's just not the most modern piece, so would, it, would I want it to go to Eurovision? No, probably not. Um, but yeah, that's okay, you know. Um, this is a very enjoyable song, and I think I will enjoy it as well when it is performed live. Um, yeah, good job. I liked it. And we have come to the final song of Festival Queen's. It has been a wild ride. We've had a lot of different sorts of songs and I really like that about Festival Queen's because it's such a different thing than your Melody Festivalens, your UMKs, your Melody Grand Prix or whatnot. This is this is some proper I don't know, it, it feels like I'm indulging myself in their culture and I love that. Um yeah. The last song that we're going to listen to is Alban Ramosai, and his song is Tea. Um, I don't know him, so um, yeah, let's click play. Where is this going? It sounds modern than, more modern than most of the songs in this video so far. I like his voice as well. Oh, wow. Big vocals. Interesting. Oh, it builds. It is quite epic. Like, it builds. Ooh. I like that addition, too. And his voice, man. Woo! Oh, damn. Oh, it's Max Natalia Gordienko's record. He sounds angry. Oh, I like that. Oh, he sounds angry. Oh. Definitely good. I'm trying to picture this on a Eurovision stage, though, and I don't know. I mean, his voice is epic. So that is the one take. Is that it, then? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it, it, it was really strong. Like his voice is insanely good, and he he really conveyed the message to me. Or I don't even know the message really, but like he conveyed that he was angry to me, and that is really good. And I always like when people get angry in music because I really like to hear or feel the emotions in the songs. Um, so yeah, I thought it was quite good. Um, is it enough to win? 
Uh, that is a tough one because Festival Ikunga is often goes for a voice over a song, um, which is something that a lot of people don't like, but I don't really mind it. I think it's quite, I don't know, it, it, it's quite a good thing because you are guaranteed to have a good artist, a great singer represent your country at its best. Um, so yeah, in a way, it is quite cool. Um, but is this song strong enough? Yes. But also, it is maybe not as modern as some other songs could be. Uh, does that matter? I don't know. I think it could be like that that Kula or that uh, Suze kind of moment where it's like amazing vocals and everybody be like baffled. So who knows? I think it could be a quite a cool entry, um, but it is not fully my favorite. I think that still is secret. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, that was a spoiler. Anyways, there we have it. Um, those were all of the 20 songs for Festival Ikungas. Of course, they're not in one video. They're in three videos. If you haven't watched part one, it's been like two weeks. Um, if you haven't watched part two, it's been last week or something. I don't know when I upload these. I have to edit them, right? Okay. Um, and this one is right now, right? So um, yeah, check out those videos. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel because we will be checking out most, if not all, national final selections. National final selections? National selections from most countries. Um, yeah, that's gonna be epic. It's gonna be a wild ride. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm really excited for it because national final season is probably my favorite part of Eurovision. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I hope to see you. So subscribe to the channel. Also leave a like and a comment to this video because I like to read those comments and I might respond to them as well if they're good comments. Um, yeah, but for me today, goodbye.